Hi guys, welcome to the exciting video on operating a solar power wireless LAN using an outdoor PoE injector and a wireless network bridge. And in today's video, I will walk you through the process of setting up a solar power wireless LAN, enable seamless connectivity in a challenging outdoor environment. And whether it's a solar power system, network infrastructure, or any other tech project, our team of expert technicians will craft a comprehensive and efficient design that suits your budget and maximizes the performance. Just simply send us your questions through the link down in the description box below. So we all know Ethernet cable a highly reliable and efficient means of transmitting data within local area network. However, they do have limitations when it comes to remote network setup and LAN extension. The primary limitation in remote network setup is its distance limitation. Ethernet cable have a maximum of 100 meters transmission distance, and beyond this distance, signal strength begins to decrease and leading to data loss. This limitation poses significant challenge when trying to connect network devices in a remote area, such as separate buildings, remote office, or outdoor installation. And additionally, in a rough or harsh environment, further restricting the possibility of remote network expansion using traditional wire connection. A wireless LAN is a type of network that enables devices to connect to each other and share data without the use of physical wire connection. Instead, the wireless LAN utilizes radio waves to transmit data between devices. And a solar-powered wireless LAN is an innovative solution that combines the benefit of solar energy and wireless networking to create a sustainable and self-sufficient network setup. Solar power is a renewable energy source that harnesses the sunlight and converts it into electricity through the solar panel. And the solar energy utilized to power network devices enables seamless connectivity without the need for traditional power source. And by using solar energy, not only extend the network coverage to distance areas, but also contribute to environmental conservation. So behind me is our setup for the solar power wireless network. Let's see what we have here. We have those wireless bridge in between. The wireless bridge can set up high-speed wireless network connection at outdoor environment with hard-to-access network, and able to set up wireless connection at maximum of 900 megabit per second data transfer rate within three kilometer transmission range with no obstacles in between. Next, we'll need this 60 watts outdoor industrial PoE injector. This injector is a convenient and reliable solution that allows various IP devices to get sufficient power at outdoor. It is IP67 waterproof rated. The working temperature ranges from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees. Most importantly, it can inject 60 watts high power for PoE enabled devices. It accepts 24 volt to 56 volt input and can convert the 24 volt solar panel power to standard PoE. And next, we have this one in between. We have the 20A MPPT solar charge controller. This controller is designed for off-grid solar power system. It offers high charge conversion, efficiency, and advanced battery charging capability. It can support maximum PV power of 240 watts and 480 watts, and also maximum input voltage of 55 volt. It accepts 12 volt and 24 volt battery voltage. So here we have our 12 volt battery. We have two of them, they're connected together. And we also have two solar panels here already connected together to our strain box. And since we are connecting to a wireless access point that can only be powered by PoE, we need this conjunction box. This junction box 
extend another power cord so now we can power up to two devices at the same time so without saying let's do the connection together and now we are going to connect those solar panel to the string box let's do the connection plug them in the string bar ensure the efficient and safe operation for the solar panel system. You have the control button, so make sure it's on off until everything is connected. And also we have the load protection and the surge protector. And it's already grounding. And then we are going to connect our string box to the charge controller. As you can see, this is where we connect to the panel. So let's connect them. And over here, those are the cable for the battery. So next we are going to connect to the batteries. And as you can see, plugging it in together is very easy, but it's really hard to pull it out. So that's why we need this little tool here. This tool can easily unplug the cable line just like this. Let's plug it back in together. And the power output is already connected to the junction box. So we have two power cords, one for the wireless access point and the other one for the PoE injector. Now this PoE injector has the data port and the PoE output port. First, I'm going to connect the data port with the wireless, access, wireless bridge. Let's connect it to the wireless bridge over here and the other PoE output port I'm going to use an Ethernet cable here to connect it with a wireless access point you can see the indicated lights are getting on and now it's working perfectly fine and the wireless bridge is on channel 8 so over this side the whole connection is done Let's move on to the other wireless bridge and connect everything together. And it's also on channel 8 and connect it with our main network data. So as you can see, everything is already connected together. Now we have a complete solar power wireless network. When selecting solar power for wireless network, we have to determine the power requirement of the wireless bridge, including the power consumption of the access point and any other network devices, and evaluates the solar potential of installation location, assess the average daily sunlight hours that could affect the solar panel's performance, and also proper installation of the wireless network bridge is essential to ensure a robust connection. Activity. Consider line of sights between bridge endpoints and minimize potential obstruction that could hinder signal transmission. And thank you very much for watching us. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, you can like and subscribe our channel Fast Cabling to get more information about the solar panel wireless lens.